It's always sort of struck me as like, you see a band, you know, on a, uh, on a stage, especially from a distance, almost as if you're, you know, digesting some sort of piece of art or something. MoMA had reached out um, a little while ago, and, uh, you know, for us, I mean, we, we've gotten to play a lot of shows in New York in the past couple of years, but never really within this sort of context. And especially knowing that, you know, it was a benefit uh, for the MoMA, you know, for, for, the, uh, for the Armory show. I just uh, seemed like a really rad thing to get involved on a on a Wednesday night. Anything that gave us the opportunity to just kind of, you know, throw away the sort of expectations that we have going into a show. And uh, I brought out a friend of mine, Johnny um, Johnny Woods, who we do a lot of our visuals with, and. Um, we started kind of talking about, aside from just having this projection space, being able to expand upon that and just sort of have the same color palette that's enveloping the entire room through our own sort of little light setup. We all just kind of started, you know, throwing ideas at each other and then we landed it at whatever tonight would be. Film school, I used to, uh, if I had like an idea for, you know, some short film or, or some screenplay or something, I would, the first thing that would happen is I would, I would compile a playlist of, of every song that I could imagine being the soundtrack for it and listen to that obsessively as I would write. And now I feel like I kind of do the opposite, you know, like I'm writing music for these imaginary film scenes that, you know, only really exist in my head. I feel like at least much of my favorite bands or projects have always been the ones that had a really incredibly strong visual aesthetic uh, associated with uh, you know with the music as well. As far as taking you know somebody else's music and and, uh, and reimagining it through this completely different medium, you know, which is like for me like animation, I'd never done that. But I'd, obviously for me like when I heard that Adult Swim you know wanted to do a video, when I got to meet them. It was, uh, it was completely surreal because like simultaneously the 13 year old and the 23 year old in me is just like completely flipping out. <laughs> There's a lot of cartoons that I watched that I realized that like had all this weird subversive stuff in it that, that I can appreciate more so now. Like, uh, like Rocco's Modern Life or The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Pete and Pete had music by Polaris and all this really amazing stuff that like just completely went over my head when I was eight or nine. I think much of much of the appeal or, or the pleasure that I get out of playing with a band is that, you know, they completely can incorporate these ideas from these instruments that never would have come to mind. And to see them breathe a completely new and different life to it is what, you know, keeps me in that band going from city to city and playing show to show, you know?